Welcome to our Five on Five. We're talking about the Southern Oregon Land Conservancy today with Executive Director Diane Garcia and Patrick Duffy, the co-chair of the Heart of the Road campaign. Thank yes. you both so much for being here today. Thanks our for pleasure. having us. Yeah. So, Diane, let me start with you. In case anybody doesn't know, what is the Southern Oregon Land Conservancy? The Southern Oregon Land Conservancy is a local nonprofit organization founded in 1978. We serve Jackson and Josephine counties, and we preserve the rural character and natural beauty of Southern Oregon by providing options to landowners who want to permanently conserve their lands. Okay, and, and obviously, Patrick, everyone knows uh, you as an actor and, and right. local resident. What, what brought you to the campaign? I saw an article in the paper about almost two years ago about this organization with a beautiful picture of the Rogue River on which I live. And when I heard what the, the campaign was, that this big piece of property was potentially going to be sold away, but the owners wanted to preserve it intact because they'd been in this uh, southern Oregon area for well, 60 years. Uh, my wife and I read the article and said, well, we should give a call and see if we can get involved in this because it sounds like the right thing to do. And we called. And be careful when you call and say, can we help to this one? Because she <laughs> took over my life for about two years. <laughs> but it turned out to be wonderful. And, and we're so close to our goal of, of raising enough money. This wonderful family, the Rule family, discounted the asking price because their entire family decided they wanted to preserve this property, even though they needed to sell it. So mm. rather than just put it on the market, they went to the conservancy first. And uh, that started the whole campaign. And now we're this close to making our goal. Okay. And that's why we're here. So, so how close are so we to So do you have goal? a dollar? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's, let's do that in a second. Okay. We want to get everybody else's dollars first, though, okay. of course, right? Okay, so, so how close are we to, to the end of this campaign? And, and, and how much money have you guys gotten to date? Well, the, uh, we are very close. As Patrick said, we, our goal was to raise $3.5 million in order to purchase the land uh, and to uh, do some needed improvements to the property and then to make sure that we can keep it conserved in perpetuity, so forever. And of the $3.5 million, we've raised over $3.3 million um, that close, as of yeah. today. So we're getting yeah. really close. Okay. But the deadline is looming. Right. The deadline, deadline is, is December 31st yeah. of okay. this year, so we have 25 more days left in our Not part of the road counting. campaign. Yeah, <laughs> well done. But I have written Santa. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> it's never, never too late. Yeah. Very nice. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Okay. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're talking about the Southern Oregon Land Conservancy with Diane Garcia and Patrick Duffy. So what do people need to know about this land? What makes it so special? <laughs> well, there's so many things. Um, the property is a very large piece. It's 352 acres, and it has two miles of Rogue River frontage. Uh, and it's been undisturbed for about 75 years. It has had very little human intrusion. So it's become a, just a, a wildlife habitat. There's herds of elk. There's uh, incredible uh, wildflowers and a rare and diminishing species on it, and it's a mosaic of habitat types that um, is very unique and rare to find on the valley floor. Well, that's a, because one of the biggest uh, grants that we got is from the Oregon uh, Watershed Enhancement Board, mm. and the reason for that is that two miles of riverfront, this high up on the migration for salmon and steelhead, they're at their energy end by the time they get up here and any amount of high water can flush them back and and the fact that that has there's two miles of safety zone for them in this watershed at this particular point in the river is unbelievably important just for the wildlife aspect mm. but the property itself I mean I've lived now in Oregon for 25 years in this very area that this property is educationally it's a it's a gold mine I mean quite literally 20 minutes from any school in Medford Busloads of students can come out there and not just learn about flora and fauna, but really understand, you know, what the history of this part of Oregon is all about. And it, the ability to encourage people on that level at such a close proximity is, is this is one of the only places that's available mm. now. And that's why it's so important. You know, it's not just important because it's pretty. It's sure. important because it will engender activity for generations to come to help keep this area as, as viable as it is right now. Okay, and, and you guys have talked about how close you are to your fundraising goal, yes. three and a half weeks left. So where can people get more information about the project or how they can participate if need be? 
Well, they can call us. Uh, our number is 541-482-3069. Uh, and they can visit us online at landconserve.org. And they can look at the Heart of the Road campaign and the project and find out more information about the property and how they can be involved. Very good. Right. Diane Gridsey, thanks very much for being here. Thanks so Patrick much, Patrick Gridsey, as always. Good to Thank see you. you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.